But when you're in England or you're in the US, you are... The first thing you identify is a, is a black person. Whereas, like, and like, like I said to you the other day, um, before, when I first came to this country, I never thought myself, I never thought of myself as a black person until I came here. And then all of a sudden, being the, <laughs> the colour of your skin plays such a huge role in the rest of your life. Whereas before, like, everything you do is, is either based on kind of like how you behave, um, how you deal in school, all that kind of stuff, things that define you as a person, right? Whereas, you know, things, your interest, things, things you're into, things you're not into, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. But then you come here and the first thing you notice is that there's, the color of your skin plays a part. You notice that, you notice, you notice other black people, you notice, I, you notice that there's a difference between you and your white friends, even, like, even from a young age where it's just, it plays such a huge role. So when people, so it's not like, it's not that people don't want to talk about race or want to talk about race. It's it's just because we make it. We've been made. It's become such a huge part of our lives. It's the first thing people see when they when they um, when they see us. It's not oh this is my this is what am I trying to say? This is this isn't like I'm a black person. Basically, my first so my first identity in this country is a black is a black man. Yeah, yeah, and then everything else comes secondary to that. Exactly. And as soon as, like, I remember trying to explain this to friends years ago, like, the word black has got, so for me, growing up mixed race, but only with my white family, going to live in an incredibly white area, completely surrounded by whiteness, like, that word, because I, I knew everyone that I grew up with had racist, that they were racist. The word black had so much negative connotations do you know what I mean it's just that you people would say the word black not just as your identifier but to I don't know to show that a situation was dangerous or black bad like oh yeah he was a black man do you know what I mean it's like as black people we're completely stripped of our identity it just can't I think we they just see us as different I think I think there's this animalistic view that they have of us right which is not acknowledged because even in sports you see it so growing up the, the black kid is always the fast kid <laughs> whether he's fast or not people see he's fast right it's like why aren't you if you and if you're black and you can't, and you run, can't run it's like what's wrong then, with exactly, you then you're not really black or whatever yeah or you can't dance or you can't sing exactly all those kind of things so you, so on that note guys um so obviously from from my point of view like having grown up and born in the uk my background being Bangladeshi, so yeah, like you, Jace. I mean, having grown up, I I probably brought up to the age of let's say six. I genuinely did not think of what like a single thought about my skin color or anything. It's only until things like nine eleven that happened, you then you start noticing. I actually remember like the day after we went into school, and it just felt like everyone was talking about, it and it's just like that's the first time I would have felt outside of a in, like the included circle it was just like whoa geez that's when it's like having that that moment of clearance so you're like whoa everyone looks you different it's like you yeah everything just starts moving far away from you and then as you're growing up you think of it you try and think of it less and then more things happen more events happen um and then pff, that's around what i think there was a london bombings that happened when i was 10 um in 2005 and then growing up even more there was a lot uh, loads more inc- incidents is happening and then by that time the internet was a thing facebook was a thing then you grow up and you see all the comments and whatnot and you're just like whoa people really must hate me or whatever um yeah so that that was my journey from a, a, a the point of view from another ethnic um background as in like the fact that at a young age you don't see it but then you um you're open to it when so many big events happen and that's when people become a lot more vocal f- from um the opposite side yeah britain is so racist and like it's obviously we all know that from our different perspectives whether we've got do you know what i mean like and it's funny right you say that because i remember a joke there where someone said that muslims are like the new black people right which shows you that people know that these things happen but we want to pretend that nothing like there's no racial um hatred towards a group so the fact that someone actually could make that joke that, oh, like, um, Muslims are the new black people shows you that you know that black people haven't cheated badly. 
and now Muslims are being treated Doesn't badly. that also show you that whoever made that joke is so normalized to it that they don't see exactly. it as a bad thing, that exactly. it's just instilled?